Good morning from Lauterbrunnen in Switzerland, or Guten Morgen. It's uh, nice and cold today. It's about 10 a.m. currently, so we've just uh, got on a train from Basel. I think that's how you pronounce it, to, uh, to here. It took about two and a half hours, I think, all in all. And uh, yeah, man, it's, uh, it's, quite, it's quite the place. But um, like most places in Switzerland, it seems to be uh, quite expensive. <laughs> So, got to go easy on the old uh, spending, unfortunately. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so far so good. So, contextually, I found out about this place a few years ago in a video. So, predominantly, this is a, a, like a ski resort, I guess. But um, it's also quite a good place to hike, I've heard. Uh, we haven't got the best shoes for hiking in this kind of weather. But we're going to give it a go. And we're going to find an interesting trail to go and follow. Um, it's not freezing cold, it's about minus one currently, enough for a bit of snow. I think it's going to get colder later though. But uh, we've got a day saver ticket, so we're here for as long as we want to be really. But we'd like to leave at latest at about five. So we've got quite a few hours here. We've also got the option to jump on a train and go to, um, there you go, look, hot chocolate nine swiss francs which is about eight quid for a hot chocolate I'm mad in it <laughs> i'll give you the conversions for that down below if you're interested but um it is a rather beautiful place so it's uh something i've been very very intrigued about visiting for a while and when i saw it i thought well what a better place could there be for a little hike and uh a little bit of exploration so in terms of the plans, as I said, so here we go. So these are these are typical Swiss prices. I don't know if you can see that very well, but a, uh, a hamburger will set you back 24.50, which is about 21, 22, maybe 23 quid, 23 pounds. Again, I'll give you the conversion to that. So it is very expensive. Just some um, sparkling water. You're looking at like eight quid for a litre. So if you are a frugal traveller, like myself and my wife, it's not the best place to be in terms of trying to save money. But in terms of pure views and stuff, 100% great place to come. So actually, strangely enough, getting here was cheap. Well, in comparison to the cost of uh, living. So to get here, it cost us uh, 61 Swiss francs each. So that's about again i'm not sure i think it's probably about 58 quid maybe 57 ish um to get here and there's a two and a half hour long journey well it's a, it's a day saver ticket so it gets us the cable car it also gets us the um what else is it? We go to grindelwald which is another nice little village nearby and there was a yeah we could just pretty much use it to travel around but there's a limit to where we can travel because it's we've got to be within a certain area basically. I think they're known as cantons or cantons. Um, but yeah, we're currently uh, we're currently staying in Basel, so we hope to get a bit of Basel, uh, some footage from Basel as well, and we do plan to do that. But um, as I say, currently the goal here is to uh, well, first and foremost, get some food actually because uh, we've both not eaten yet. Um, we was up at what six this morning. So yeah, we got up at six this morning and uh, we've not eaten and we just kind of just <laughs> went straight to the uh, train station and then took the uh, journey here. Oh look, I actually recognise some of the words. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Arzt. That means doctor. Yeah, the German I've been learning is coming in handy. And then you've got Apot Apotec, which is like pharmacy. So if I get ill or if I get cold, <laughs> I know where to go for medicine. Let's go and have a look up here. So there's a famous waterfall in Lauterbrunnen. I don't know what it's called actually. And I do apologise for the previous video because I was pronouncing it wrong. I was pronouncing it Lauterbrunnen. It's Lauterbrunnen. But yeah, nestled right in the Swiss, the Swiss Alps. And what I, I kind of thought to myself, why do people not really vlog from Switzerland all too much? And now I know <laughs> it's because they can't afford to. <laughs> You've got to be a millionaire to come here. So in Switzerland, I believe that the uh, the money they make is. Uh, relative to the cost of living but if you're coming from a different country it doesn't translate all too well but 
that being said if you uh if you work things out carefully it's, it's possible to travel on a budget Achtung Feuer Verrautsfahrt <laughs> oh no parking no parking okay I will try not to park there but let's have a, a look at this there you go look so there's the old uh, waterfall we'll try and get a bit closer to it in a bit but it is rather rather beautiful so as I said me and Tam we're gonna go off and go and find some food and uh, Tam's doing the old Instagram and TikTok so if you're interested in that kind of stuff feel free to go and have a look and if you're not we hope you're enjoying this one um, and yeah join us as we do a bit more exploration around this rather beautiful village okay so we've got ourselves a cup of tea with milk uh, about 880 which is about 750 ish so that's not too bad that's about to say that's about what you'd pay in uh, in the uk actually for a cup of tea in costa anyway and uh yeah it's very really, very really fragrant i'm speaking to the gentleman over there very nice guy um speaks many languages actually so in switzerland i've heard that the they speak french italian german um english obviously so yeah crazy but um this is much needed it's bloody freezing so nice cup of tea let's get it down as so I'm gonna resort to this people instead of buying an actual meal we're just gonna go and get some food from the co-op i suppose i've got a car here actually but uh simply can't afford it it's just so expensive to buy food from here a cup of tea was good though and should have been, should have been. Ah, it's a bit more like it. A bit more affordable. What do you fancy then, love? <clears throat> Got a sandwich here. That's an XXL sandwich, so 620. That's about, yeah, again, what you'd pay in England, really. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. It's a Swiss co op. I'm just uh, letting Tammy finish off uh, paying for that because uh, it was quite crowded in there. Didn't want to get in people's ways. Um, standing there, vlogging in front of everybody. They're like, What are you doing? Get out of my way. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's. Uh, it's a beautiful country but yeah it's, 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 it's well known to be expensive uh, to be honest in the same way that i think norway is as well if you look into it actually i think some of the top most expensive countries switzerland's up there but you can't deny the views can you so yeah just wait for tam find out what the damage was how much it cost and what we got we did get a uh, a fridge magnet that's something that tammy likes to do it's like a tammy thing because we like to travel pretty regularly our fridge has currently just become like a, a mosaic of fridge magnets <clears throat> but uh you know she's willing she, she willingly gets dragged around these long old journeys two two and a half hour train journeys across the alps so the least i owe is a uh, is a fridge magnet i think but yeah there you go so that's the car so if you're looking to save a bit of money, then do that. Go to the co-op. Quite a quite a bit cheaper there than it is in a uh, in a restaurant. Uh, buying a coffee though, that seems to be relatively the same price. But a beer, yeah, for a beer, it's about 20 Swiss francs. So yeah, I don't want this whole video to be compl me be complaining about the prices though. But yeah, obviously, uh, I'm sure you're interested to know how much things cost. So how much that will come up to you then, love? 20.50. 20, 50. Not bad. So to, for context, a burger would have cost us 24 Swiss francs on its own, just the burger. No chips, just the burger. And we got, what did we get? What's, what's, in, what's in the lucky bag? Half a mug of water, so we've got. So we've got a big old sandwich. So it's very ham tasty, salad. ham salad sandwich, very nice. nice. I've got that Coke yet, different flavour. I've got my vanilla Coke. And then we've got a uh, chocolate bar, milch. And of course, Toblerone. Got to have a Toblerone. Got to have a Toblerone, I guess. Yeah, um, even though it tastes the same. Oh, we've got something else. Oh, and the fridge magnet, of course. Fridge magnet. I like that. It's a very nice fridge magnet, actually. So, 
I can't be too upset about that. But I think the uh, the cable car is in this direction actually. So uh, we're going to try and get on the cable car if we're allowed to. And go and have a look looking, a bit further up there. Looking, um, that's the end. Yeah. I don't know. There's the cable car up there. Never been on one, so that'll be an experience. Uh, be a new one for both of us. So yeah, let's go and have a look. There we go, so getting ready for the cable car. Should be in about like 10 minutes. So see what the views are like going up here. And we'll probably enjoy our lunch up in this, uh, in this, in this mountain. Yeah, be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So we go, made it up the mountain. We're in a place called Murin, 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 something like that. <laughs> but yeah, we've made it up here, and it's what minus three currently. So nice and cold, just how I like it. A little bit slippy, so I got to watch my step. But uh, yeah, man, that was a cool little train ride. Um, never been, never thought I'd go for a train ride through the Alps. So uh, there's a new. It was a first. New, 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 as a first for everything. Yeah, absolutely, Tom. Well said. <laughs> so we're going to have our lunch here. We've got our Food our provisions that we got earlier. So we're going to enjoy a Toblerone overlooking this mountain. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, probably make our way to Grindelwald because uh, you can get there from here. And, uh, and yeah, well, look, there you go. The uh, cheeky avalanche over there. Look. I wonder how common they are. Yeah. There you go. There we go. So I found the spot we're going to enjoy our lunch. We can kind of just rest the bag there, I guess. But I can think of worse places to have a, have a lunch. So I just enjoyed lunch with our view. And uh, it's getting colder. <laughs> my, hands are like, yeah. my hands have gone red. Yeah, we're not, we're not dressed for it, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter. We're, uh, we face colder weather. <laughs> And uh, less clothing. <laughs> in our old house, uh, the heating failed. We couldn't get an engineer out for ages. So, uh, yeah, so that was in winter as well, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that was a right nightmare, that was. Yeah, I like the traditional buildings as well. Yeah, let's give you a tour of Murin. So it's snow covered, as you can see. Up there in the mountains. Let's uh, go for a little stroll. I'm currently attached to Tammy like, by the hip. Quite literally. <laughs> got to, got to, got to charge this uh, this uh, camera. It's a it's a good camera, but uh, it's not designed for. Uh, I remember. Long filming. Right. When we went to Skegness, we went to Prague. Skegness in Switzerland. Yeah, yeah. I said to you, I want to get a bum bag, but when we go to Prague, mm -hmm. um, you ripped the mick out of me. I going, did. Oh my days, no, I don't need. And look, it is a godsend. It is, yeah. So Tammy brought this uh, bum bag here, and uh, or fanny pack as you would call them in America. <laughs> and um, we, uh, when she got it, I, I was, I was, I was taking the mick out of her a little bit. Or, uh, yeah, taking but the mick if you're not familiar it means having a, having a bit of a laugh, bit of a bit of a laugh at her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what a stupid purchase. She looks so silly, but that has been one of the most useful purchases we've ever made. It <laughs> holds everything. It's um, very, very useful. Camera. I wouldn't wear it, you know, different but strokes for different folks. But no, you don't. She wears it more as a satchel, like the, uh, like the, like the kids, like the cool kids. Yeah. One of the cool kids. Got a I snow plow, so let's just move across. Let that guy past. Yeah, look at that. It's, even the walls are like neatly trimmed. Very, very well maintained. Okay. Yeah. So we're uh, making our way up this uh, this trail now. I don't know how far up it goes. Where it takes us, who knows? Where it takes us. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Who knows where the cold wind blows? But we shall find out. But not a bad little view. So unfortunately, Scotland and Croatia and Bosnia. Uh, yeah, this tops it. I don't think this is going to be topped any 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 time soon. We'll have to find I out. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is number one spot for me. So um, 
we went to Prague a few years ago um, and we still uh, hadn't really done much traveling together I mean believe it or not we're quite new to the traveling scene um, really we but we uh, we love a good adventure so we just go out and you know rather than going down the conventional route we'll do something a little bit more kind of out there yeah it's my uh, some of my family members are currently on holiday in Malaga in Spain um, but it only took an hour to get here to Switzerland and uh, well to Lauterbrunnen so we went to Basel it's which took an hour oh, here we go we've got snow uh, so it took an hour to get to Lauterbrunnen sorry Basel and then it took uh, two and a half hours to get to Lauterbrunnen and then it took a cable car ride and probably about, about a 10 minute train <laughs> 10 minute train ride to get here to Muren and it is yeah, it's a nice little, uh, nice little, nice little, I guess, village. Is it a village? Yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah, there you go. 